This video looks at ordinate dimensioning. You start by creating a 3D solid and then use the software to automatically create a drawing. As you will see in that drawing there are three third angle views and a 3D view. If I want to move the 3D view I quite simply right click, cancel the lock movement, I can then move that to where I want it to be. When I'm happy with the new position just right click again and lock the view movement again. To do the dimensioning, this is how I'm going to use ordinate dimensioning, a very easy way, a very effective way of dimensioning items just working from one edge. Very, very simple and very uncluttered way of dimensioning. So I click on the ordinate dimensioning choice in the annotate tool chest, click the edge I want to dimension from, the edge to show the direction the dimensions will be going. Click an edge for the first dimension, centre wheel click to position it, another edge, another centre wheel click, another edge, another centre wheel click. Happy with all of those? I can say OK. As you see they're still selected, they're all red. Just right click and align the dimensions. Do exactly the same thing again, so I click on the icon again, place on I'm working from, direction I'm going in, first dimension, second dimension, third dimension. Those dimensions can be selected. and moved to where I want them to be. Again, they could be lined up as required. Zoom out with the centre mouse wheel. Zoom back in on the final view. This time I'm going to try automatically creating the ordinate dimensions. I just go around the whole shape. I've selected all the surfaces and edges. Happy with that. And then quite simply click the edge I want the dimensions to go from and all the dimensions will be placed. Click on done. This radius obviously is very much in the way there so I just move that manually to clear the other dimensions. Maximise the size of the drawing and there we have one complete drawing with ordinate dimensions.